To fully understand the bond valuation, we have to do some uh, numerical calculation or study some numerical example to fully understand what the current yield is and uh, how to get a yield to maturity for a bond, etc. Okay, let's look at this first example. Uh, suppose you have a bond with a par value of $1,000. It pays a annual coupon of fifty dollars per year, and uh, it has one year to maturity. This assumption just makes the calculation very easy. The bond price, current market price for this bond is nine hundred and ninety dollars. Uh, so the question asks you what is its current yield and what is yield to maturity. Okay. Let's look at simple number first. The current yield equals coupon divided by the bond price. That is, uh, in this example, $50 divided by $990. What is that number? Let's take out our calculator. 50 divided by 990. You got 0 0.0505005. Right. So it's about 5.0505%. And we can round this number up a little bit. So 5.0505% is about 5.051%. Since the last digit uh, here is 5, right? So we can round it up a little bit. Okay. Now we got to deal with the yield to maturity, which is a little bit difficult than the current yield. Uh, here what I have is basically that we know the bond price equals the present value of all the future cash flow from this bond. For this bond, the future cash flow is the par plus the coupon. right? And then to make it a present value, we need to divide it by a discount factor here it is 1 plus the yield to maturity to the power 1. Why is that? Because it is 1 year to mature. Right? So anything to the first power is itself. So in the denominator here, we only have 1 plus the yield to the maturity. Now, in, in this formula, I, I can hardly see how I can get the yield to the maturity. I have to solve this one equation for this one unknown, the yield to the maturity. Right? To do that, I have to uh, kind of move the yield to the maturity itself to uh, the left-hand side of the equation. Uh, the first thing I do is I divide both sides with the bond price and then times both sides of this equation with 1 plus yield to the maturity. If you divide the left-hand side with the bond price, you have 1, right? And then times 1 plus yield to maturity. Now you have 1 plus yield yield to maturity equals what? This this thing. Remember, I need to time 1 plus yield to maturity uh, on the left right-hand side as well. So you have 1 left, right? And then I divide the bond the price. So in the numerator, I actually have, in the denominator, I actually have the bond price now. Okay, still I have something, uh, not just the yield to maturity alone, right? So what I need to do is to minus 1 on both sides of this equation. So the 1 is gone on the left-hand side and then minus 1 on the right-hand side as well. Okay, now I have exactly yield to maturity on the left-hand side that I can calculate. Uh, to get the uh, number for the yield to maturity. Now we can put every number into this calculation. Uh, the par again is a thousand dollars. Then the coupon is simply fifty dollars. The bond price nine ninety, right? Then minus one, and that gives me what? I still need my calculator here. Okay, it is ten fifty. Divide by 990, we got 1.060606. That's not really an interest rate, right? Uh, 
So that's why we need to minus 1 here. So we got 6%, 06, and 06, 06, right? So this one, this number now looks like an uh, interest rate. So now we know it's 6.0606%. Uh, Again, we can round this number up. It is about 6.061%. Okay, now we have both the current yield 5.051% and the yield of maturity 6.061%, right? Uh, the yield of maturity is a little bit higher than the current yield. Why is that? Because when we calculate this yield of maturity, we actually take account the appreciation in the par from this bond price right 990 to this thousand dollars we actually take this appreciation into account that's why the yield maturity is higher than the current yield in the current yield calculation we only think about what the coupon right okay that's our first example